don't pick that life, that life picks you. Welcome to Sit Down News, and before I begin, I'd like to mention our sponsor. Ratchet is a clothing company from the UK, started by a young man with a vision, a dream, and determination. They have various prints and styles for men, women, and children. I'll include a link to their website down below in the description for this video. The episode opens at a wake and Junior Soprano is giving his captain, Jimmy Altieri, a tongue lashing. It's not uncommon in a life for a boss to reprimand one of his captains if need be. Then Mikey Palmisi comes in to tell Junior that the hit on Tony is about to go down and that they're going to use black eyes to draw attention away from them. This goes on today, specifically with the Lucchese family who uses blood members to do their dirty work. At the Soprano house, Camilla is trying to get Tony Soprano out of bed. He's been depressed and blames his mood over Pussy's disappearance. Tony finally gets up and goes to his bedroom window, and he sees a beautiful woman hanging laundry in his neighbor's yard. Then he goes to his medicine cabinet and takes a handful of Prozac and lithium. Christopher visits Tony and updates him on Pussy. No one knows where he is. Then he mentions that the crew is being very cautious around Jimmy Altieri, but Tony admits he's unsure if Jimmy flipped or not. Tony introduces himself to the beautiful woman next door. She's an Italian exchange student. The young woman seems to have taken Tony out of his funk, as only women can do. Finally getting out, Tony heads to a local newsstand, unaware the two black guys are laying on him. Luckily, Christopher follows him and ironically gets into an argument with one of the guys over his parking spot. Junior is seen becoming sick over this hit. He's in the back seat of a car and Mikey Palmesi explains that a civilian got in the way of it getting done. Little did they know it was Christopher. This guy Donnie shows up and he's the one who enlisted the black guys. He makes a comment, I hear Tony S's own mother wants him popped. Mikey questions where he heard that. Meanwhile, that comment could have only come from Mikey, who obviously knew Junior was listening from the car. When Mikey walked back to the car, Junior told him he don't trust the guy in his jokes. What he should have did was question him about how the guy knew to say that. But Mikey walked over to Donnie, who was sitting in his car, and shot him in his head. What people don't understand in that life, you must watch what comes out of your mouth, because it could be the last thing you say. In therapy, Tony Soprano explains to Dr. Melfi the pills have him feeling empty. He then tells her about the young Italian woman. She responds, so you do feel something. Hilariously, he replies, don't split hairs with me because I've had it with you. Seeing he was agitated, she suggested he spend a few days at a residential treatment center. He responded, you got any idea what my life would be worth if certain people found out I checked into a laughing academy? As an alternative, she increases his Prozac. Outside Dr. Melfi's office, Tony runs into the young Italian woman named Isabella. He offers to take her to lunch. In the restaurant, she starts to tell him about Avellino, where his family's from. He becomes mesmerized by her and imagines her in Italy. Back at his house, Tony gets busted watching Isabella from his bedroom window. He confesses to his wife that he had lunch with her. Naturally, Camilla calls him a piece of shit because he hardly takes her out to eat. Tony's back at the newsstand picking up orange juice when one of the guys that are laying on him sneaks up on him, throws a shot at him but misses, hitting the orange juice bottle. The guy tries to go to Tony while he's in the car. Tony grabs his arm with the gun. They're tussling. The guy's friend comes running over. He shoots through the window. He hits his partner in the head. Tony grabs his gun and his arm and starts dragging him with the car. And it ends up when Tony winds up crashing into parked cars. At the hospital, Tony's being treated for a cut on his ear and minor bruises. Agent Harris shows up and tells Tony it was an attempted mob hit and offers him witness protection. Tony dismisses him. Camilla tells him she agrees with the agent. He says to her, I took an old Camilla. She responds, what are you, a kid in a treehouse? Most women in society in general, like Camilla, view the mob as a joke. Junior and Livia are watching news reports of Tony being wounded. Livia is playing dumb, asking how this could have happened, and Junior innocently responds that he has no idea. While the crew visits Tony at his house, Christopher realizes that the guys that hit Tony were the same guys at the newsstand he had the argument with. Junior and Livia decide to visit Tony. By now, Tony and his crew suspect Junior was behind the attempted hit. 
Tony covertly meets with Dr. Melfi to ask if she ever told anyone he was her patient. She admitted that she mentioned it to her family members but never identified him. Tony's neighbor Cosimano comes home from his trip and Tony asks for Isabella. Cosimano has no idea who he's talking about and it's at this point that he realizes it was all his imagination and most likely caused by the medication. He immediately calls Dr. Milfi up to tell her Isabella never existed. She tells him to discontinue the lithium. It ends with her asking him if he's feeling okay, and he tells her he feels pretty good, and then adds, when I find out who took a shot at me, I'm going to feel even better. This episode shows most of the time the treachery in that life comes from within your own family, from the people you're supposed to trust the most. You can subscribe to the Sit Down News blog at sitdownnews.com, and I appreciate all of you who have subscribed. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed the story. If you would like to subscribe to this channel, you could do so down below. If you would like to subscribe to my other channel, Unlimited Substance Podcast, I'll add a link in the description for this video.